going to break down the uh, the intro and all the fills to Sultans of Swing here for you. Okay, this starts out the intro with uh, a slide to the to the seventh fret here on the fourth string. Fifth fret. and hammer on from 5 to 7. Um, okay, that's the first lick, and then after that you got... Okay, then a quick hammer on. Then up to the 6th fret, 2nd string. So that's... Okay, so so far we got Alright, now the next part, um, I do a roll on this, this is the way I play it. That's what I call it, I don't know if it's actually called that, but but uh, I use my thumb, first finger, then middle finger. Just roll it like that. And what you want to do is, this is just a D minor chord. There's your pitches. And you could use your thumb and rake it like that. But I like to, um, to play it this way. And what you want to do is just make sure that you um, stop the sound of, of the previous note as you go to the next one. You don't want these to ring together, in other words. You got 8th fret. Staccato, back to the fifth. Okay, so that part, the whole deal again. First lick, bent note at the fourth fret, and then re release and bend again. And one thing, real quick, about the theory of this is that most of these fills are going to be coming out of the A major scale, and even though the song is in D minor, um, he takes advantage of the fact that. That the chord is on A when um, the fills come in, but I digress. Okay, so the next lick after that um, is going to be a slide to the eleventh fret on the fourth string, then skip the string to the second fret or second string, tenth fret. Okay, that is. Okay, now we're going to um, strum an F uh, bar chord, which uh, the root is on the fifth string. There. Just three quick strums. Okay, then after that, we're going to move this up uh, two frets. It's going to bar here. And you want to bar from the fifth string up. And then what you're going to do is hammer on on the fifth string at the twelfth fret. And you got to make sure that you reach over and um, use the tip of your finger because you don't want to mute these notes out. I'll do it like that. So. Okay. And then the next uh, lick is, is some of the rhythm type licks that he throws in a lot. This is just barred at the 5th fret, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th strings. Now he also throws in some muted blocks like this and okay now this is uh, third finger seventh fret middle finger sixth fret and then pull, pull them both off okay then down to the third fret Okay, and the next lick is just on the third and fourth strings.
Okay, I believe I left off right here. Alright, then the lick comes right after that. line um, coming in and out of the rain you hear the jazz go down um, this is a pretty trick trick lick here it's um, this is also an A major and you start with a pull off from 12 to 9 top string and 10 9 okay now you quickly move down to sixth position. When I say sixth position, what that means is that's where your first finger's at, but you actually play the note at the seventh fret, um, and then pull off to the sixth fret. That's on the third string. Okay. Then play the fourth string seventh fret. Then move to fourth position and pull off from five to four. Slide to two, and then pull off to open. So you end up on the open D string. So that really slow is. It's kind of hard to do slow there. And that's going to be one of the more challenging ones to get um, up to tempo. And then also right after that pull off, you got to go back to this F chord again that we did earlier. And the same deal here. So I don't need to explain that. Did that earlier. And then back to this again. Okay. Yeah, but the horns are blowing that sound. Okay, so then, then we're going to go on the first and third strings and I use uh, my second and third fingers and then what you want to do is hit those and slide up to the tenth fret on both of those so then you end up with these pitches okay. then you move, you're doing the same strings here, you're skipping the second string then, then you move to nine and ten Okay, so it's and then you want to bar here at the tenth fret on the second and third string. Slide it down. So it's okay. So we double up on that way on down south, London town. Okay, now we come to this, and this is the first time we've done this one. What you do here is bar at the second, third, and fourth strings. And then you're, you're just making a D minor chord here, which you're probably more familiar with um, using the full bar chord form, where you're playing the root with your first finger. Well, you don't need this note on the fifth string. So um, I just play it in this position, and I keep my thumb up here. Um, not necessary, but more comfortable for me. So we got... Okay, so I got 7th fret, 7th fret, and 6th fret. I release all of those and go to the just the fifth barred. Bar again there. And then when you come back, you don't have the pinky. You just so that's okay. Second, third strings, and then uh, eighth and ninth fret. So it's oh, check out guitar George. He knows all the chords. I'm trying to remember them anyway. And we're gonna slide up to an A7 chord, 
and it's uh, voiced at the uh, in uh, eighth position. So you got nine, eight, nine, nine. And you slide up to that. And then bar the top three um, at the tenth fret and play the D minor chord there. So it's okay. 